for some reason, you're listening to Hypothetically. Enjoy. All right, Hypothetically, episode 21. We have a great guest, Charles Engel. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, Charles is uh, the co-host of uh, the Overshadowed podcast. And if I understand correctly, you're a you're a fictitious character created by Zach Russell. Yes, I was so 3D you, printed. He has a great job and he finally could afford one. That's and, what I thought. Uh, okay. I think he was like, what if I had a dumber version of me? <laughs> <laughs> the printer was like, I got it. Give him curly hair and uh, less uh, less funny jokes. Yeah, for anyone, uh, I guess we don't do the video anymore. Uh, Charles is just Zach in a disca- in in. Uh, Blackface. <laughs> so it's called Zach Face. <laughs> all right. No. Hypothetically brought to you by Patient First. Patient First. Do all the good doctors work at a better place? I don't know, but it seems <laughs> like that might be what's going on. It's like every time you go into urgent care, I feel like I'm all, no matter what time of day, I feel like I'm always interrupting their lunch. <laughs> it's they're always like, what? Every, every ur- urgent care I've been into, it smells like orange chicken that's just been put down. I thought urgent care was where you went at, for the most urgent things. I I went there with kidney pain mm-hmm. and they made me they kept directing me to this ipad to like sign up for their whatever mm-hmm. and then i finally got in to see the person and they were like oh you need a hospital like this isn't a hospital <laughs> i was like i thought this was faster than a hospital yeah. like no 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 we just do covid tests and give you std stuff like we don't yeah do you have a headache we have water here yeah we but like, uh, other than that they're like you need to get the hell out of here all right well are you guys comfortable with each other do you guys want to say mean every week we i i, I asked the guest to say something mean to nathan so everyone's feeling comfortable do you have anything mean to say to nathan mm, no I'm not that I'm not mean right off the bat. Do you want some material on me to help you get there? Um, I have psoriasis. Yeah, I look <laughs> right in the hairline. <laughs> but I can't. Is, what is psoriasis? Psoriasis is like a, a skin condition where you slowly turn into a lizard. So you turn Jewish? That's what <laughs> I didn't know. I thought it was your mom had to be Jewish. I didn't realize. <laughs> Does your mom have psoriasis or is it on your dad's side? Because you're not a real lizard. (laughs) (laughs) On my mom's side, I have the psoriasis, of course. And on my dad's side, I have thinning hair. So I'm losing my hair, but I can't shave it off. Because if I do, then I'll just be showing like my scaly head. Uh, Well, it'll be good, though. At least you'll be bald and scaly. You know, horny toads have that venom they can shoot out of their eyes. So that'll be a plus in case anybody's like, "Ew, look at your scaly bald head. Will I get the venom in the eyes thing? Yeah, that happens. I think at the end of psoriasis, you finally get the venom in that. I'm a, I'm from Arizona, so I know I know a lot of lizard facts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Gila monsters don't let go once they bite you. What do you mean by don't? Like, how are they? Like, are they once, biting you? Once they, yeah, they bite. Once they, they fall in love. They yeah, I, I, I imagined it was like when my grandmother gives me a hug. It's just like, okay, okay, yeah. three minutes of this, dude. Can I get like 10 seconds? Yeah, that's um, what they do. They bite you and they or they stop, but they won't stop telling you how handsome you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you single? It. Okay, yeah. Your girlfriend makes you go to a, uh, her friend's baby's first birthday. So you're there. You don't want to be there. And you look in the cradle and it's not a baby. It's just a rock with a penis drawn on it. But everybody's acting like it's a baby. Like everybody's acting totally normal. And they're like, oh my God, I'm so big. What do you do? Do you tell someone? Because your girlfriend already thinks you're just in a bad mood. Because you've already been like, is that a rock with a penis? Well, you just don't want to be there. You're like, oh, this is going to suck. You guys have been fighting about this party for like a week now because you really don't want to go. And she's like, it's really important to me that you go and you get there and you're like, hey, this is a rock with a penis on it. And they're like, okay, I know this is not the cutest baby, but what the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Is it bad? that my first thought would be like maybe if i washed off the drawn of drawing of the penis people will realize it's a rock but then i'm worried everyone's gonna think i'm trying to touch the baby's penis well that's the i guess the thing is like how sure are you this is what you see but it's clear to you that everyone else is seeing a baby so are you thinking they're wrong like how how confident are you in what you're seeing I would oh. be, my first question would be like is i would ask my girlfriend if the baby's naked be like you, really you brought me to your you like your friend this much she doesn't even dress her baby i would try to pull attention to the baby's dick out at the party because i feel like even though it's your birthday your dick shouldn't be out if you go to any other per- person's birthday and their dick's out i don't think everybody's gonna be like well it's their birthday i think it depends on how old they're turning i think yeah. you know 21 all right <laughs> I, that's the last year you can do it <laughs> would you not turn to somebody would you try to convince maybe a fellow boyfriend of a girlfriend because that's what i feel like you do um at 
things where it's a bunch of girlfriends. You try to find the other cool boyfriend and be like, is that a, is it me or is that like an igneous rock? <laughs> I think I would try to see if somebody else. What if they just was. kept, they keep answering in a way that you couldn't tell? They're like, is that, you're like, is that a rock? You're like, yeah, this whole party sucks. And you're like, what? no, no, no. But, but is that a rock though? And yeah. he's like, you're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I'm not speaking. I'm not saying euphemisms here. Like carpe diem. <laughs> women huh <laughs> so what is i mean how much like beyond like if you're really in this situation how much would it bother you or would you just be like you know what i don't even want to be here i don't care if their baby is a rock with a penis drawn on it <laughs> <laughs> let's just get through the event so i can go play video games and stuff <laughs> i think i would try to get i think i would first accidentally mm. to see if it made a noise on the baby yeah like water <laughs> spill some water on the baby like still a little bit of water or maybe some Sprite. Something that wouldn't stain, but like, I, I, I spilled a little Sprite on the baby. I'm sorry. And then see if it would cry. Because rocks don't cry. Rocks don't cry. You must know that from your uh, time yeah. in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I Contrary ask... the popular belief. Can I ask people to be like, oh, that, that baby... I'd be like sitting, talking to someone next to the baby, like, oh, the baby has really cute hands. And they're like, yeah, no, I'd be like, uh, can I be like, touch it then? Would you try the to... Babies. Yeah, I'd make them try to touch parts of their anatomy and see what they grab. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Is it... Yeah. We're at a party and you're like, the baby has cute hands. Touch the baby's hands. If I was one of my girlfriend's female <laughs> friends, I would be like, I don't like what you're saying. I'm not going to do that. But it's, yeah, you can't go up. You can't do the ET though to a baby. Put the finger out and see. They, yeah, see if they I, grab it. Mm -hmm. You could just grab baby. their feet. You know, like babies, there's not that many rules on babies. You're allowed to just like touch their extremities, like hard rule on that. People don't get upset. They're like a baby. It's kind of like touching a person's dog. It doesn't have that same. Right. Yeah, there's a little bit. Maybe you could trick them into admitting it's a rock like how hard could you skip that baby maybe there's like a question where they're like and they're like four skip damn it fuck it's a rock like i knew it janine it's over i was uh i took uh, in college i took geology and we learned how to figure out different types of rocks through like you can like scratch it with a certain type of yeah rock can i start doing that to the baby when people get upset <laughs> if i start scratching it with stuff and like putting i mean worst case scenario if it really comes down to it, if it's between how how halite and calcium, you have to lick it to figure out what the difference is. So like worst comes to worst, I have to lick the baby. But for most of the tests, you can just like pour a little like sulfuric acid on it. But you're not at all worried that it is a real baby and that you're insane. Well, I'll learn that from the exam when they're like, that's not a rock. I'll be like, well, we don't know that yet. Let me scratch your baby with this piece of flint. Plus, because you see a rock, you don't know what like you don't know how you're even holding the baby. You, you pick up the baby. You're like, am I holding it by its head or what? I just see a rock. So then you try to lick it and you lick the baby's ass or something weird. No, 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 no. Because you have the penis as kind of a oh, that's as your like oh, north that's star true. to figure yeah. out where everything else is. <laughs> <laughs> you start with the penis and you're like, if the penis is facing down here, I know its head probably is here. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to get when you when you lick it or kiss it. I pretend to kiss it to be nice. I just hope I don't get its lips because I don't want like a Tom Brady vibe going around. But I think yeah. you could probably probably get like a rough area you know yeah and then you could be like is this baby pie right i don't i don't i, don't, I wouldn't be concerned here's my if i if i never said anything i would not be concerned that i'm crazy because if all i see is a rock and that's how my brain is crazy i'm fine with that you're totally normal except you hallucinate this one baby is a rock yeah and then yeah. it just so happens that i i can that baby's always in my vicinity you just can't <laughs> escape it i'm like jesus right no matter look, how old it is, it's a rock with a penis. When I look up <laughs> pictures of babies online, do I see rocks? Like, what is the... It's just this baby. And then in 18 years, when they're in college, you see this boulder with a penis on it and a, those, like, graduation caps. <laughs> That's <laughs> Would it, would it be bad if you went up to the parents like have you been finding bigger rocks to trick people like how are you doing this and they would act like yeah. they have no clue what you're saying they're like what rocks this is jonathan and we're very proud of him <laughs> he's gotten very heavy he's thinking about running for huh what would you do Nick? this is your so are you what, yeah. what's your how, what's your get out scenario? i would scream and then i would uh light myself on fire because i've i've gone crazy like the protest mm -hmm. no because out, out of fear i'd be like oh my god i need to you know, I'm a danger to myself and others. I need to kill myself. And then my girlfriend would be like, oh, just anything to get out of my friend's party. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I would have that fight later, which would really fucking suck. But, you know, that's how it goes. You guys know, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Every time I light myself on fire, I can never finish the job. Yeah, I'd light myself on fire. And then the other guy at the party would be like, Ugh, his girlfriend's driving him nuts. I get it. <laughs> what if the rock saved the little baby? Wow. 
Yeah. <laughs> How would it save him? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the only way around like, can. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like a Jon Snow situation where I'm burning alive and then the rock puts me out of my misery. Oh, someone by bashing me with yeah. Somebody bash Nick with that baby so he doesn't burn anymore. I feel like I would as a you were dying you'd be like oh so that is a rock. No one would take a baby and then slam it flaming guy's head. What if that's when they all admit it's a rock? Or it's yeah. all a deep con to get you to kill yourself. Mm-hmm. Like your girlfriend <laughs> was trying to get out of the relationship, but just didn't have the confidence to break up with you. So they're like, so look, she... let's do the fake rock birthday party. Yeah. Just like we did Trevor five years ago. <laughs> and as I'm passing out, she's like making out with the other guy I was commiserating with. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the in a it's like the Truman show. Like you finally realize everybody's in on it, but you die. There's no happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> Movie's called Landslide. All right. (laughs) What if, as you got better at something, you got uglier? Would you continue to do it? Like LeBron James would be so ugly that they'd have to blur him out on TV. (laughs) To bleach him out. They had yeah, because he was so gross. It would induce like people at courtside seats. It would induce vomiting. Like they'd give out barf bags. So I get to pick the thing. Whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter if it's comedy or woodworking, but as you get more skilled, you get ugly. First of all, I just want to note that the only examples you've come up with are comedy and woodworking. (laughs) Yeah, those are my two choices in life. I don't know if you guys. You would be really fucking ugly to be a great woodworker. Yeah, what if you just wanted to be a great woodworker and you were absolutely horrific looking? I think that would stop a lot of people from being from doing anything. Um, Nathan, I think you should field this one as you are already quite ugly. Gotcha. Are there some people that are just still really ugly? They're just born ugly? Yeah. And you're like, what are you good at? And they're like, I don't want to talk about it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm actually just an average person. Let's just watch the movie, huh? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I have a kind heart. (laughs) Yeah, people always assume that I'm great at things. Every Ugly people are just always letting other people down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you good at? I'm pretty good at bowling. And I'm like, you were not that good at bowling. Yeah. You're not that. You got a 120 this game. Yeah. For you your, like that. Yeah. For your face, you should have gotten way more yeah. strength. Second I twisted T. I don't know if I could be the most hideous person to try to continue. Like, at, say something like comedy, like something you love, a passion. And then your girlfriend starts to leave you. Would you be willing to be a. Dude, that'd be um, awesome. (laughs) This is a... I didn't realize there was this added benefit of my girlfriend leaves me? (laughs) Fuck. All right. (laughs) Sounds pretty good. Um, Yeah, I think there is... I think honestly what happened is there'd be a point... You would hang on to your looks and then there'd be a point at which you'd be like, oh, I've I've passed some ugly threshold. So now fuck it. Let's just... And then you'd eventually become a rock with a penis on it. (laughs) Your final form. Yeah. (laughs) That baby was the best woodworker I've ever seen. (laughs) yeah that's how the baby uh killed you when you're on fire with like a big wooden like trebuchet they made or something (laughs) would like the olympics still happen just it'd be so disgusting people would have a lot of trouble like the events would have to be way more exciting because i feel like i think it would just be more fun to see how ugly the people got than to see what they're doing well the winter olympics would be way more tolerable just because you can like cover everything up i feel like eventually there would just be contests to see who was the ugliest Mm -hmm. but then it would be like you're trying to get better at being ugly which would make you uglier, but it, you know what I mean? It'd be this cyclical. Oh, you see what I'm saying? What do you do to get better at being ugly? People would be, yeah, you just, it would be this like uh, infinite, you'd become so ugly that you'd be like a black hole and then everyone would die, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah, you just suck everybody in. I think the opposite would be more confusing. I don't get how models would work at all. Like just, you're like, oh. yeah, you can do the walk really well, but I throw up when I see you. Like, I just Yeah, that would be a love of technique. Which I don't think there's that much technique involved. So I think they would get ugly really really fast like a hot girl like i want to get into modeling and then be like oh you need to walk like this and she takes her first step and she's just like gross as shit like i don't think there'd be yeah yeah yeah. how would that work you would look at you would be good at looking attractive but you would be you'd be like tricking people Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that what happened i guess it'd just be angles yeah you'd have like one angle where you're so hot but then every other angle, you're just like, <laughs> absolutely. People yeah, are really cool. grossed out. And you're like, no, 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 go like 10 degrees that way. Yeah, yeah. Wherever the, wherever the camera is, you look hot. And then I think a person that was naturally good looking, they'd be like, what are you doing, you piece of shit? You ever been good at anything in your life? Do you even try? Yeah, they'd just be casual at everything. I mean, I feel like there would be a whole class of people that 
never tried to get good at anything. Yeah, I think there would be, yeah, like people that took advantage of unemployment during COVID. There's like, just coast, dude. And you'd want to have sex with them, but they wouldn't be very good at it. Exactly. Like, you know, in medieval times, they loved the fatties because it showed that they had well. So maybe it'd be nice to show off your uggo. Oh, interesting. I think we're assuming that society would trend uglier because we'd want to be good, but it could go the other way where yeah. everybody would just be like, no, being hot's more important. Then and just nobody, nobody's going to become a CEO yeah, or anything. Nobody would excel. Yeah. We would never go to yeah. the moon again. Math would yeah. be set back. <laughs> just because we want the cheekbones. Yeah. <laughs> Like just all of society would plateau pretty fucking hard. Yeah. yeah. Like, did you cure cancer? And be like, no, but check out this self. It's like fine, right? It's yeah. Like, alien <laughs> aliens would come and be like, God damn, this planet is full of some hot retards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, well, let's get out of here. Wouldn't even have fire, but our tits would be uh fire. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You, for this question, you're in the, the Pirates of the Caribbean to start with that. This would be t- is it is it set? Is it the Pirates of the Caribbean universe, but it's the year 2022? No, or just no, Jack it's... Sparrow was a person or am I in Jack <laughs> Sparrow? Yeah, it's modern times. They just, they kind of bring up in like a textbook. They have one sentence about Jack Sparrow. And, and other than that, yeah, it's exactly the same. Jack Sparrow gone because of the herd accusations in this universe? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amber Heard is like, still real. Jack Sparrow? Yeah. <laughs> so he's gone and all the pirates are like it's a shame what happened to him yeah. Yeah. i mean he was a pirate but don't be women yeah they pillage and plundered but they were like whoa whoa dude there's the line dude no so you're in the pirates of the could be uh, the pirates of the caribbean world and you want to become a pirate so you go out you spend years on ships and kind of the lower like lower levels and you finally start moving up but you just plateau in the like you know how in the pirates of the caribbean they have like their weird pirate council um i remember the really cool pirate council <laughs> <laughs> your middle management there working on like section 33b 12a dash 001 of like the pirates code and it's been six months and you just can't get out of it like i'm an administrator i'm spending like hours and hours typing stuff and then Jack Sparrow's like, oh, they're more of guidelines. I'm like, they're fucking guidelines? Yeah, I, I have to work 10 hours a day, Jack. I'm missing my kids grow up. <laughs> Parlay is not a guideline, all right? Yeah. So is this like you you went for your dreams, but then you kind of took a corporate and you're like, ah, I'm in yeah. the industry, but I'm mm-hmm. not. Yeah. <laughs> you, you sold out. But by the way, if they catch you as a pirate, they will still hang you like every other even when you're like no dude i just worked on them like i was an administrator i was more similar to hr they're like we don't give a fuck dude we're killing you i just try to impress people with all the pirates that i know you know i'm (laughs) friends with uh barbosa they're like yeah what have you done i'm like i don't know (laughs) yeah did you know how redbeard always steps to the left before he kills i made that up <laughs> you have to like there's a formation that i made i'm like shut up nerd nobody respects you anywhere and yeah, now, that would so suck what- to be a nerd pirate you know you're mm-hmm. like raping and plundering and they're like yeah but who cares? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not it's not cool when you do it i don't even think that would be the problem i think when they were when people were raping and plundering and all that shit you would be bringing up like yeah technically we're actually not supposed to do it exactly like that you're if you read article 13 b yeah unless there's to- unless there's violence it's not plundering it's actually burgling so <laughs> yeah and we can burgle so it's like yeah okay so if you're raping there's no choking or else it's like you can't go to court mm-hmm, right you can go to yeah they have a pirate meeting mm-hmm. and what do in the, the question is what do you do to break out of that and become a yeah pirate? you're stuck in this middle management position how do you move up you also genuinely maybe at like some level you care about the like the work you're doing but you're like i've always wanted to be a pirate i feel like i'm not fulfilling my dreams it's like what do you do i think you have to kill the the, the biggest pirate prison I rules, only, prison yeah, rules. I, think you ha- I think you have to kill the biggest pirate like, by torture like, like biggest in name or are you gonna body shame some pirates and then kill them i would you gotta body shame i think that's okay. how you catch them off guard <laughs> you have to come in and be like jack yeah. And then he's like, what? And then you get him a little self-conscious and then you get him, you know, the torturing that they used to do, they would, uh, one of them is they would uh, tie them to the, like hang them from the bottom of the boat as the boat was moving and you'd scrape along the bottom and get all cheese grated by the barnacle. I was if thinking you, yeah. for, I was thinking you, for, oh, what were you thinking? 
I can just okay. I was thinking for torture. Wait, wait, me so- first. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you know how Jack Sparrow always does that thing where he cuts a rope and then he's hanging on the rope and then he flies away. You'd convince him he was fat, so then he'd be like, you know what? I probably shouldn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Nathan. What? <laughs> I was gonna do another fa- the same but different fat joke. It's not. Was it as good as that one? It was. No, yeah, it was a little better, I think. But it's cool. We can really. Oh, what was yours? What was yours? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We don't have to no, do that. Can, that could no, be no, a your fun rope. Your rope thing was great, dude. I that don't could even be a clip. Let's see who's. Yeah. Got no, the you're gonna, Jack repl- Sparrow you're gonna replace joke. me next episode anyway so just you know it's fine it's fine what, what did your, you, were you were you gonna say fat sparrow were you gonna say fat sparrow <laughs> no i'm a little better than <laughs> on my fucking time <laughs> <laughs> what if that was your first move as the nerd and you're like i fucking know what it's gonna be hey fat sparrow and everybody's like boo <laughs> ah, damn it guys <laughs> and you, that's when you realize you'd be a bad pirate after yeah. all, and the corporate job wasn't holding you back <laughs> Have, have there been how many pirate meetings? Because in the third movie, they have the pirate council meeting where they reference other pirate. Ca- they're like, oh, every time we do one of these, everybody always votes for themselves. So like how many meetings have there been? And when they call the meetings, is, there, is it like a normal corporate meeting where they're like, this is fucking bullshit. Nothing's going to get done. <laughs> you get to the pirate council meeting and they're all like, so how is everybody's weekend? <laughs> we already know everybody. <laughs> we are pirates, but we also are a family. <laughs> 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 Could you guys imagine if they, if like when they were making the Pirates movies, the original idea was to make like historically accurate Pirates <laughs> movies, but then Disney bought it. So there's all these like deleted scenes of just like the most fucked up stuff. <laughs> Like Jack Sparrow just killing some guy and then having sex with his wife and stuff. And then they're like, you know what? Let's actually just have him sort of run around on the beach instead of that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just put a song and maybe he walks weird because it implies he's drunk. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. Well, what about the scene where Jack Sparrow throws up all over his own naked body? Keep that <laughs> or no? What do we do? <laughs> Would Disney like that? Yeah. What does Michael Eisner think of that? Is Michael Eisner still the guy? No. Right. No, it's been like 20 so. years since he was yeah, the guy. <laughs> I don't know why I knew that. I, is Michael Eisner the new? I don't want to. I don't want to. He was once. Eisner. He Stop. was once no, a no one, Disney exec. God damn. Sure. You, How great would it be if know, Michael Eisner yeah. was in Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> do you want to do a question? Because you're kind of pulling at straws or do you want to keep everybody riff on Michael Eisner being in Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> we will not move on yeah. until I am satisfied yeah. with your that's Michael Eisner. I like, second hypothetical. I like that our episodes come out late because we have to do all this editing. Because Nick talks about Michael Eisner. <laughs> <laughs> Which is creating work for myself. Yeah. Every People, episode he brings yeah, up Michael <laughs> do not cut this and then when people ask me like why doesn't the episodes come out on time it's like oh did you see the michael eisner clip and they're like oh <laughs> that's why it doesn't come out on time we totally that's what we're doing here can you blame him michael eisner is a lot to talk about you have the power to turn into a bathtub okay <laughs> is there anything else or is this the whole question you've been turning into a bathtub for years but then you find out Every time you turn into a bathtub, someone's actual bathtub disappears forever. Can you live with yourself? I would enjoy that. Yeah. I, I would love to picture some rich lady in a Manhattan penthouse in one of those bathtub with the feet, and then it disappears. <laughs> the comic that floods the apartment and drowns her dog. And like, oh! And just cops can't figure out. I would the, Somebody's career is trying to figure out why. You're probably employing people. Somebody's yeah, career has to, has to be like... Like how people hunt ghosts, there has to be a, a bathtub whisperer or something where they come in with like remotes and they try to get the frequency <laughs> of like where the bathtub is. And there's subreddits of like where people believe the bathtubs go. There's got to be like discords and meetup groups of like, you know, like people think they know who killed Kennedy. People have to think they know where the bathtubs are. And there'd be like a Nicolas Cage movie of like finding, <laughs> finding the tubs. <laughs> Yeah, but okay, but if you get all that interest, if anybody ever finds out you can turn into bathtubs, you're suspect number one. Yeah, but you're not really turning into bathtubs. You are turning into bathtubs. That was the question. I guess. No, it was. It was the question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I assure you. <laughs> do I wait? Do I get to keep the bathtub when I turn back? No, 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 no. That's the thing. You are destroying their permanent real bathtub to be a temporary are you a bathtub and then somebody gets in and that's why you do it because you're like yeah i don't that's up to you man yeah do i get to, i feel like you could probably use that in a less creepy way to be like a spy or something that's what or i was thinking pervert, like you're you're like, a spy and somebody's on to you and then you go hide in the bathroom and they come in looking for you and they're like oh nope it's just a regular bathroom bathroom with a, two bathtubs two bathtubs just a regular <laughs> two tubber nothing to see 
see here, folks. Yeah. My, wait, do I have to get naked? Do my clothes, like, how, where do my clothes go? Uh, they are folded up neatly in the bathtub. Okay, because wow. I was going to say I could wait for someone to come by like, an assassination. But, but then when you turn back into yourself, your clothes are folded up neatly on your naked torso and stomach okay but you do have to put your my, clothes back on my plan was to get replace like remove someone's bathtub and then turn into a bathtub and then if i had to like if i was a cia operative and i had to assassinate them i wait for them to get in the tub fill up with water and then turn back into a person and like choke them out but if i'm naked and we're both really wet i don't <laughs> i'm like i totally against that but i don't i don't think it would be as cool as i imagined it being in my head and um, see if they if they beat you and they tried to choke you out yeah. And you're like, that's just humiliating. And um, to turn into a bathtub, you have to say, by the power of bathtub. So, really loud. Really loud. Yeah, whisper, really loud. You can't whisper it, right? You can yell it or you can text it to someone. <laughs> to, and someone's like, matter who I text it to? Is like, are you the guy that turns into tubs? And you're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. What, what are you talking? I was just saying, hey, yeah. <laughs> you know how the kids text. Sorry, I'm using Siri. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Typo. Sorry about that. I meant what's up. And you can control the bathtub. You be like, or do you just randomly kind of reset? spawn as a bathtub it's a random bathtub and you aren't full of water someone has to fill you with water so if you're thinking you would go to some place with no water and you would save the village uh, okay so you can't save the village by being a full bathtub i mean if if the village <laughs> is if the problem with the village is they don't have a bathtub like they have all this water but no nothing to contain it no then you could save the village that's a great saying i have all this water but no tub to put it in Right. And then you're like, hey, <laughs> by the power of the, by the power of bathtub, <laughs> I would not like to be a bathtub because I feel like my biggest fear would be turning into a bathtub. And then I'm a bathtub with like two young brothers. You know, and like you're, <laughs> you're so young that you have to be naked with your brother in the bathtub. I feel like oh, I remember. <laughs> that's actually why we started this podcast yeah we wanted to bring that feeling to the internet yeah and you if can't we, be like a hot tub no you're a bathtub if, and you're not if, you're if not more we worried both, about that it, i was kidding. gonna say if if stop, we both stop. lived in new york this <laughs> podcast would be set in a bathtub oh that's that'd be a fun i would yeah. do a podcast yeah a regular size bathtub <laughs> we'd all have to get into it we'd all get in it and 20 minutes in it's like uh-oh who pooped <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Somebody would always poop. Hey, isn't it cool that your penis floats? Yeah. <laughs> Those like girls are really missing out. Forget the wage gap. They, they don't have a dick that can float in water. Yeah. It's so small, but so buoyant. <laughs> I think I'd be fine with that. I think that you be wouldn't be power. worried that it really hurt to turn into a bathtub. No, it oh, feels it good. It feels really good. Oh, it except, feels really good. Yeah. You're like, oh, God, except uh, turning back feels bad. It's like when you put something in your butt, it feels great. But when you take it out, you're like, damn it. It's, it's like that's what it's like <laughs> turning into a bathtub. All the sensation is in your butt. Okay, so there's a G spot oh. tub effect. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it hits the it hits the G spot on the way in, and it st- I guess just stabs your G spot on the way out. I don't. How would it hurt? Like inversely hurt? Like how would it? Like what's like would it pinch? Like what would it do? It'd be like dry, like sort of dry friction feeling. Okay. Oh, oh okay. and can anybody find out that you have this power? Yeah, and the way they could find out, you know, any superhero secret identity. Oh wait, I have to say by the power, I could just never use it. Then yeah, sure, I'd, I'd take it. Because I just don't have to. I would never use this bathtub power. But that's the thing. It's one of those like once you have it, are you really never going to use it? You think you're that disciplined to never be a bathtub? When they're <laughs> in everyone's life, there are situations where it'd be so helpful to be a bathtub. And you can't tell anyone because if you found out. Like if I found out my friend, if he said this string of words, he would turn into a bathtub. All I would do is try to make him accidentally yeah. say that. Are you worried you would be tricked into saying by the power <laughs> yeah. of bathtub? <laughs> I think you could. I guess I didn't realize that was part of your assumption is that you can turn into a bathtub and also you're the dumbest person in the whole world. <laughs> Oh, I'm got me again. <laughs> my fear with that would be that I would be addicted to turn it into a bathtub because it feels good. And then my girlfriend's like, you're never around. You're always off just being a bathtub. <laughs> like, you don't understand how good it is. Like it, everything, your life kind of crumbles around you because you can't stop becoming a bathtub. Yeah. And you start doing drugs and then you're a bathtub on drugs. Yeah. yeah then you're a bathtub doing bath salts. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think you would have a really uncomfortable AA meetings where you'd be like, oh, so what are you addicted to? And you'd be like, um, this is awkward, but it's actually being a bathtub. I don't know if anybody can relate. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
like is it like it is like what is it like i don't know it feels really good dude i can't describe it there's somebody who's like who can't who's like i actually can turn into bird bats and it's like you <laughs> <somebody. Yeah. laughs> would it would it be shitty at the a meeting if i turned into bird bath and you were like actually that's not the same at all you should that even close? Yeah, that's not <laughs> even close dude that's you're talking that's, about yeah that's really pathetic you should keep that to yourself <laughs> give, actually give me your chips you can take them <laughs> if you do a better thing you're allowed to take the lesser man's chips that's how a works <laughs> <laughs> oh also i forgot to mention you are sexually attracted to other bathtubs oh wow does that change anything for anyone am i and wait am i sexually attracted to them when i'm a bathtub or just all the time all the time but when you're a bathtub you <laughs> still have a human penis but it's on the very bottom <laughs> so people don't really notice but it is there and the tile oh, okay. is oh, the cold. tile would be too much dude <laughs> the I tile can't... is so cold yeah. so scrap all that cia shit dude you have to what like spend four hours with cold tile on your dick that's not gonna happen <laughs> none of that's gonna your work you can just smushed against yeah. the tile mm-hmm. well hopefully you're one of those bathtubs with legs and then it's just gently grazed oh, against that's you. and then someone's like hey guys <laughs> am i crazy or is my bathtub uncircumcised <laughs> <laughs> yeah you turn it to a you turn into a bathtub and you're like, oh, this bathroom has carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be fun to see a bathtub with testicles. Well, that'd be fun. Do you think you would like the bathtub more or less if it had the penis and testicles? Great question. Would it improve bathtubs for you? When you when you, you would fill up the bathtub with water <laughs> and then when you wanted to drain it, you'd have to jerk off the penis. <laughs> All the water would come out of the penis. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're podcasting now, boys. <laughs> yeah, <finally. laughs> if you had to have a catchphrase when you came, everybody has to have a catchphrase. <laughs> what would it be and why? And I'll tell you this. I think there are some benefits to having this because I think in the dating world, there could be fun pluses and negatives to this because there could be catchphrases that line up if you come together. Like you could be having a one night stand and then you could be about to come. You're like, whoop. And they're going to be like, there it is. And then, <laughs> like, oh, wow. And then Wait, uh, but if you had whoops, would I have to ask like, what's your, what's your phrase? And if they had something no, Wait, you, so have you, to find out in, you have to find out in the moment. You but so like, be, but so like part of this question is I have a catchphrase and I know everyone else has a catchphrase. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's, it's, everyone it's a, has a catchphrase. What, okay. And then I was, I don't know if you guys want it like this. I was going to make it that everybody's default catchphrase until so you've had sex with like a hundred people is a uh, happy birthday. Oh, I was imagining it like when you, uh, you had sex for the first time in that like really awkward interaction oh. you had to be thinking people were like why can't you get hurt it's like dude i i can't figure out the catchphrase i i've been trying to think of it but i don't have one yet like this first time people would really just be considering what their what their phrase would be my catchphrase you- would be nathan hopping 1998 to 2025 <laughs> you i don't know why but that I would just died. that's just what came to me <laughs> That's my, that's my catchphrase. You would predict the year I died on your in your catchphrase? <laughs> well, yeah, only when I came. <laughs> I would Otherwise, never I would. know that unless you told me. Like, I wouldn't... Well, or if we fucked. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying we would. I'm just saying that's a hole in your logic. <laughs> Charles, do you have other questions? <laughs> don't talk about no, wait, me I like fucking. I like no, this. I don't wanna... Yeah, Charles, why were you asking about me and Nathan fucking? Yeah, first the, us in a bathtub together through. and now us fucking? Like, Jesus. I feel like we're really getting somewhere, guys. <laughs> How's your relationship with your dad? <laughs> you know how everybody has like an embarrassing AOL screen name? Yeah, like you, yes. you you would like come up with your catchphrase when you're like, you know, 17. Yeah, you can only change it. It's like a license. You get it renewed every 20 years. And you're like, ah, mm. oh, it's not even what I look like anymore in that picture, but you're just stuck with your phrase. Mine would be when uh it would be like when like a Pokemon uses there. It'd be like Pikachu or whatever, but it's come instead of lightning. Yeah, so it would be come. I choose you. No, no, it'd be Pikachu. <laughs> like when P- yeah, it'd be come. I choose. <laughs> so that, that would be you. Would say that every time, even on like quickies. You're just like come. I choose you. I think mine would be uh, by the power of that. <laughs> I was gonna do that. Bathtub. I was gonna do that one. And then you're I a bathtub full of cum. <laughs> <laughs> Not full of it, but there's like some in there. There's, yeah, it's been there's a couple of there's a little bit it's been a while <laughs> the power of that. um that'd be fun i mean it would be fun to i feel like everybody's like dating profile would have what their catchphrase was six two i'm so sorry <laughs> 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 or you know whatever yours is what if you're you didn't choose your catchphrase just the first time you came whatever you said is what you're stuck with but because yeah. you know conservatives don't like to teach sex education they don't they don't they don't tell you that so you don't know oh that's good yeah mine would be one time i said uh here you go 
by accident. <laughs> that, 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 that would be mine. What happens if you have sex but don't come? Do I get another chance, or is it just the last thing I said before we finish having? <laughs> you're sex. trying to fake your you're trying to fake your orgasm <laughs> just saying stuff. Yeah, yeah by the Did power you, of bathtub. No, no, it was great. It was great. <laughs> it was good. No, you didn't say it like you usually say it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I don't know what. <laughs> But you just didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah. What about like with if you're like about to come but don't, would you start the sentence and then finish it? Like how would that work? I think yeah, a couple of words yeah. would come out. So if I heard then, like my roommate go like the 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 I know he's edging really. You would hard. know they were edging, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. How yeah. long can it be? Can mine be Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven? <laughs> wait, do you wait? So when you come, you have to finish. Like I know the first stanza of that poem and it's long. Like you have to just finish the whole poem. If I were to yeah. only do the first stanza, my balls would be so blue <laughs> <laughs> or just like the first hundred numbers of pop. never more never more <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, because then, because then, if you heard parts of that phrase, you would kind of get like half chub because you you would definitely start associating every word in that sentence with. I'm always half chub. Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. uncomfortable. I'm, I'm like the. I think you I, know how the Hulk is? The, how, how do you control your anger? And he's like, I'm always angry. That's me with chub. You're always horny. I'm always oh, half wow. chub. Yeah. And then I punch a. And then I punch a gigantic <laughs> that's a good, alien. <laughs> that's a good joke. Thanks, Nathan. <laughs> I heard that one in middle school, but you you crushed it though this time. I think it would be fun to do Katy Perry's fire. Work, the beginning of that. <laughs> Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? <laughs> That's your phrase? You're like, it's catchy, right? Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. That's the- <laughs> I'd be like, hey man, don't come. It's offensive when you come. <laughs> You're slowly becoming Japanese. I don't want to do this one, dude. Every day you're becoming more and more Japanese. And everyone knows you're becoming more and more Japanese. You find out there is a way you can reverse the process. Do you do it? (laughs) No. No? You just become Japanese? I have no feelings on it. I don't really? care that I'm becoming more. Yep. I just, you would, really? that's honestly what you do. You'd be like, no, yeah, fine. Yeah. I see no difference. No, then, because everyone, <laughs> you just said everyone knows I'm turning Japanese. So everyone they knows know. that if I stop, I've reversed it. That, yes, they so do. That everyone knows I have a problem with being Japanese. So no, yeah, I don't, you, I don't reverse it. Friends who are like, Hey pal, I get it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you find out who your real friends are. <laughs> just all white guys. I have a bunch of white guy friends no. and that's the only people that I can talk to. Who else? No, who else would I be think, cool with it? I think a lot of other, races would understand no dude i don't think anybody <laughs> would get it i think you would do it and you would go to events and people were like oh you don't look japanese anymore and i'd go mm-hmm. and then, it'd then, be you, then you could say then you put her on there and say can you blame me <laughs> you really, yeah, but, really have to double down nathan you'd be annoying the other way they're like you're becoming japanese you're like am i am i, oh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't notice <laughs> i don't i don't see color i'm shocked you noticed that's cool good for you yeah you which be, charles would you do it? Yeah, I would reverse it. What if it was by killing a Japanese person? <laughs> that wasn't part of my question, but uh, <laughs> I'll allow it. It's uh, <laughs> in you know in a very Japanese way. Seppuku. It's seppuku. In, you have I to have assist to convince, them. Yeah, you have to convince, have to convince, them, convince to, them to do it. Well, seppuku is two steps. You have to get them to stab themselves with a sword, and then you chop off their head. But yeah, you have to do that. Yeah, it's, it's cultural appropriation it. and defensive because you're killing. You have to do both <laughs> those things. Would you? Do you do it? And everyone knows you did it too. Everyone knows you seppuku a Japanese man and that it's incredibly <laughs> fucked up. But they're fine with it because who would want to do Japanese? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, thank you so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, uh, well, no, no, you don't have to. You don't have to kill a Japanese person. You just have to. What's the process here? Yeah, is it not seppuku? I thought that would be really good, but no, it's 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 like paperwork. You have to just fill out a bunch of paperwork. So it's like annoying but doable. Oh, it's like something that you could kind of put off, and then one day you wake up totally Japanese, and you're like, ah, forget. I just didn't want to drive downtown. Just too. And then by that so time, lazy. you're uh, horrible at driving, so you're never. <laughs> <laughs> God <Hello>. damn it. <laughs> No, I can't drive down down. I think I would. I mean, I don't think it comes off as racist if you just enjoy who you are. Yeah, and you yeah. are becoming so you're Japanese, saying, but you don't enjoy it anymore. So. so you're saying whiteness is who you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's mostly who I am. <laughs> so you wouldn't do it. Nick, would you do it? I'm already Japanese. <laughs> Okay. I'm surprised no one has. Uh, no. Um. Yeah, I'd probably do. I would do it really early, and I'd be like, "Oh, I thought it was gonna hurt." <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it wasn't gonna hurt. I, I wasn't sure. I just got nervous. <laughs> I think you have to do it like day one, or you can't do it. 
But day one, you don't even know. You wake up and, I mean, what? There's a Japanese attribute that you're like, hey, is this happening? Like, whoa. Right? So well, your eyes oh, that's, go first. that's true. I would seem so... Someone just told me this and I would just <laughs> do it. They're like, fill out this paperwork or you'll become Japanese. And I just believe them. <laughs> if that's how little I want to become Japanese. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. Whatever you say. But yeah, the first sign of craving sashimi. You're like, look, it's, I can't. <laughs> All right. What about you're becoming a lady? Would you rather become Japanese or a lady? Or black. What's the middle? What's the middle step in the middle part? What does my genitals look like? They get blurrier. They be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does it look like? Right, dead center, fifty percent. What am I? Octopus tentacles, like hentai. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's like a, it's like a flower that hasn't bloomed yet. And then it 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 opens up it 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 unfurls. My and penis either, opens up. No, so like a like a like a. <laughs> oh my god! So your penis breaks open and then out comes a vagina or a so Japanese penis. I, you know what? <laughs> you really convinced me on flower penis. And so by I, the way, I'm not saying a Japanese penis would necessarily fit inside a white person's penis. That's not what I'm saying. But in this like case, a doll inside every white person's penis is a, <laughs> is a Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, waiting to be let out. <laughs> Wait, so I, don't, I think I would still pick a uh, Japanese over a woman. Yeah. A Japanese man over a lady. Yeah. Jeez. We're gonna, would you not pick that? Say? Japanese person over... You either turn into a Japanese man or a woman. What type of woman? Are we yeah, am I like an attractive woman? I honestly am a man because I think I'd be a more attractive man than woman. So what is it? That's why you're a man? Yeah, I mean, if we, you can. Yeah, Nathan is transgender. He just doesn't like how he just thinks he's ugly. <laughs> I was like, I have a beard. It's like, no, I'm not gonna. Like, even if I was, like, I'm not gonna change now. I have like a beard and a, like a weird big. Yeah. So would I be like a? Would I be me as a a woman or a Japanese man? Or would I be like an average looking Japanese woman or no average woman, woman or Japanese? I didn't follow that question. Do you think you're average looking? I think I'm OK. I think I'm fine. Other than the psoriasis, I think I, you know. Oh, if you become Japanese, you don't have psoriasis. Oh, do that one then. Sure. No, wait, you do have psoriasis. Oh. And I want you to have a moment of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it never stops until you fill out the paperwork. So eventually you'll become so oh, Japanese, <laughs> like you're way more Japanese than anybody. You're the most Japanese. Japanese, you, you just keep becoming more Japanese, like more classic sound, Japanese with the like all the crazy garb and stuff. The Fu Manchu, kind of yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, all that stuff. And you like get, the, no, but like yeah, even further, that. even yeah, further, you get, you're you so get, Japanese that like no one can even look at you. You're just, yeah, you're the epitome a, of Japanese. Yeah, you're like a very offensive stereotype. No, you're just like of the rising sun. You're just like so bright and Japanese that you 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 can't even be gazed upon. People are like, oh my god, he's so Japanese. So like the Japanese flag. Or something even more Japanese than that. Oh man, they would redesign the Japanese flag after you because yeah. you are the oh. most Japanese thing in existence. You're like uh, you're not a person anymore, right? You know, you're like the really platonic a... forms, like the perfect vert. You're the platonic Japanese. That's a good superhero name. Yeah, platonic Japanese. Do you want to move on to a better question, or do we want to? His powers are just Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you rather your pets have thumbs or could speak English? And this is why I think this. I think if your pets could speak English, they would be annoying to you. I don't think it would be that fun. But I think if you gave your pets thumbs, they wouldn't need you anymore. <laughs> I think I would want my dog to have thumbs and I would enjoy not giving them things to hold. My dog would be like, you know, we can play catch instead of fetch. And I'd be like, nope, we're playing. we're just throw it <laughs> away from them. They're like, no, I can catch it. I'm like, I don't care. Go get it. <laughs> Go get it. And when they pick it up with their hands, you're like, Put it back. Put it in Put your it back and pick it up with your fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah. Fucking dog. You, you tape their thumbs down, <laughs> you hands, but you're not allowed to use them. So you would you would pick hands and then abuse your dog? Yeah, you just use it in a way to be a shitty person. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't even. Yeah, yeah. It'd give me an excuse to kick my dog. I'd be like, oh my god, what is that? Thumbs? Ah, and I'd kick him. My dog would give me a thumbs up, and I'd be like, what the fuck? And I'd kick it, and then it would oh. give me a thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we've had a previous question where you talked about a dog that's like wanting to fuck me the whole time. So I'm going to do the hands thing just so it can't be the, that thing from a previous podcast. What if the dog jacks you off? It would. You wake up and the dog's just like, <laughs> I just thought you'd like this. I thought there was peanut butter. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. dude. Um, just two hands. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up. And I feel like a dog, if it could speak, would just be like your friend who's always coked out. 
And then yeah. he's like, oh my God, shut up. Yeah. I mean, what if when the dog could speak, it was just like, God, I wish I had thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you not give me thumbs? <laughs> What's the point of speaking if I can't pick stuff up? <laughs> yeah, the whole time the dog's just like, could you get that for me? Yeah. Hey, would you mind handing me? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go over here and fuck myself. <laughs> I'd be really worried when it's like, uh, cause you know, when like a, uh, like someone comes to deliver a package and they start like screaming, I'd be worried. It's screaming like help or something or something bad. Cause then every time a person came to deliver a package, I have to go explain like, no, no, that's my, that's my dog. And then they'd be like, no. And then you have to go show them the dog. I don't know. Yeah, what, what if it had a frightened thing? woman's voice? Yeah. And then every Ooh. time a package was delivered. Yeah. What if it just had Gilbert Godfrey's voice? I would like that. It'd make me sad because he's dead, but also it'd be endearing. I'd like it. What if your dog just enjoyed racial slur? Like just putting you in <laughs> awkward <laughs> scenarios. And you can't take it out anymore. <laughs> just saying the wildest stuff. And he also and had he your vo- your exact voice. <laughs> People didn't know which one. <laughs> you would shout racial slurs. People would turn around and be like, no, it was the dog. And they're like, yeah, sure. Okay. It was the dog. Yeah. And the dog's like, and they start every sentence with like, I'm Nathan Hopping, and this guy smells <laughs> like what you'd think he smells like. <laughs> I don't think you just have to put the dog down. Yeah, you would have to. That's what I'm saying. You, would, you think a- you could put a talking dog down? The dogs yeah. at the vet like, oh, God, please don't. <laughs> In your voice. <laughs> We're brothers. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just cussing you out like, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> just starts telling all the secret things you've uh, it's seen you do to the vet. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what if you start like every time you poop, you start finding little pieces of a bicycle and every day they get bigger and bigger. Well, how big do they eventually get? It, it will at some point you have to at the end is the wheels, but every day it's slightly bigger until you get there. You don't know what's going to happen to your body then, but at some point it will be the whole you will poop out a whole bicycle. I'm pretty like lazy. I don't even think I would ever realize it was a bicycle. I would just be like, I pooped out a bunch of random stuff and then some tires. I think once you got to the chain, once you pooped out a long bicycle chain, I think you'd be like, that's a oh my God, that's what it is. Do you guys not poop out? I poop I mean, chains. If I, a, if I have a lot of fiber, yeah. 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 I'll poop yeah like a whole lot of fiber. Chains. I guess if you already poop chains, you got nothing to worry about. Do I poop a bell? But ring, it starts ring, small. Basket, yeah. And like once, streamers. yeah. A pink little basket. You realize that one day you're going to poop out <laughs> an entire bicycle tire. And it's like, what do you do? You go to a doctor? Like, do you find religion? Oh, like, you, I think I would just be lubing up. Just I don't practice. really like going to the doctor. I'm kind of a classic man, you know? You know, like how men just poop tires out of there, but like, I'm not going to ask for directions or uh, to go to the hospital. I'm just going to, well, you know, you eat a bunch of olive oil and poop out the tire. You can't flush a tire, though. So you're going to have to kind of come out of the bathroom mm-hmm. with bicycle parts. You're, does the tire have poop on it or is it? Oh, I, it's covered. Yeah. I mean, I would talk to some scientists. I'd be like, does this change? What is this change? <laughs> you Are we still no, thinking no, no, no. Big Bang or <laughs> is God real no, now? You can't go or... to scientists, dude. They're gonna they're gonna start to like prod and probe you. What are I they think... gonna do to me that's worse than bicycle in my ass? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would try to sell the bike. You would would With, you would have yeah. to dude if you're gonna sell it, you'd have to explain. Be like, oh, is it is it used? And like, oh I mean in a sense. <laughs> in a sense. Yeah. Kind it's of one. It's yeah. one. <laughs> I would sell it like it was a new bike, and then the people would get a mysterious video that was me <laughs> shitting out each part of the bike. And the date. I bet it, the videos are worth more than the actual bicycle itself. If just one wheel's kind of coming out, could I sort of ride it like a unicycle? <laughs> yeah, I sure, mean, it's, man. it's already coming out of my you butt. Time. Yeah, you got it. I mean, I assume it takes how long? So you're like probably 10 or 15 minutes before it comes out of your ass. You probably ride oh, so it. You're- you're really pushing it. I mean, it's a bicycle wheel. Is it like a road yeah. bike or a mountain bike? <laughs> yeah, mountain bikes are thicker. Um, it's proportional to you. So if you're a bigger per, it, the bike that comes out, you could ride it. It's oh, I have a, a huge, I have a huge asshole. What, so what does that mean? It's I have a really big. gaping asshole and not that much okay. hair. So stuff does come it's out gonna easy. Be, it's going to be a four wheeler then. A four wheeler? Yeah. Like with a. Like, yeah. with a motor like, yeah. a, like an atv <laughs> yeah, atv you're gonna have a much a much more different experience because that's not a bicycle no but you have a big gaping asshole so you know that's the rules at least that's what my girlfriend tells me cool i heard dude. no hair and i got jealous yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you get the atv because you shave if you went natural how god wanted it you'd get a regular bicycle what if your bicycle had as much hair as you had would you guys ride a Ooh. hairy bicycle yeah Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, no, because yeah. then if you went fat, 
fast it would be. Wait, what kind of hair is it? Sort of short butt hair. No, hairs. no, no, no. I wouldn't do it because if you went really fast, people would get really. And they have a little curl. They curl a little. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love that. And then people are like, "Whose hair is that?" And I'm like, guess my cruiser. <laughs> guess. <laughs> yeah. Nobody ever guesses right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, nobody ever guesses my answer. Right. What if laughter? What if laughter was the best medicine, like it cured diseases? But the only way to enact it was to tell more racially charged jokes. You know what's wait, so is funny? A, wait, is this Zach? When when Zach was on, we did this question. Exactly. Oh, he told me. I, I oh, I called him today. Dang it! I thought that was one he didn't do because I was like, did, I called him today and was like, uh, do you have anything that I could uh, that got you in the more creative mode? And he was like, oh, I didn't use these, but maybe I heard him wrong. He did use that like, one. Oh. Yeah, he used that one. <laughs> You're a hack, though. It like humanizes you. It'll make you look better to the audience. People really like that you yeah. steal jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up until now, they're like, yeah, this fucking Adonis on the podcast just <laughs> crushing every Nothing. question. I don't see myself in him. <laughs> I've stolen uh, before. So make that one question that didn't go over. Well, look really good. I'm really thank you. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, hey, no and problem, guys. I'm here to make fucking here to make you look better. Oh, thank you. Keep that. It'll make NATO look good. But what if? But seriously, they're like, what if NATO was short for Nathan? I mean, like, what would happen? I mean, some <laughs> some would happen. We should get Noam Chomsky on here. He would know. What the? <laughs> who the fuck is Noam Chomsky? A uh, famous linguist and political theorist. No, dude, our our audience is clearly Middle America. You can't can't use intellectuals like that. We're gonna have Bill O'Reilly on here, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, Bill, you're turning Japanese, and he wouldn't even <laughs> let me finish the question. He'd be like, No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. All right. Should we, is that, I feel like that's enough podcasting for today. <laughs> 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 it always ends up Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hypothetically episode 21. Uh, Charles, do you want to plug something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please listen to overshadowed podcast is a great podcast. We talk about the siblings of people who change history. And if you want to follow me on all platforms, I'm at Charles underscore Engel. All right. Hypothetically episode 21. Uh, thanks everybody. 